Hi there, darling. I hope you don't mind me popping in briefly. I just wanted to say that um, I wish you happy holidays, should you celebrate. And um, I... I'm just gonna come out and say it and say that I understand that this time of year is hard for people like you and me. My mom and dad disowned me when I came out the closet, so I've been celebrating Christmas alone since I was 19. And now with friends, and then my wife, and now just my daughter. So I, I if you have nowhere to go, I get it. Um, which is why I'm also kind of here to offer you a place at my table. I'm sure my girl would love to see you again. She's crazy about you, and between you and me, I'm also kind of crazy about you. And that, and I also cannot cook in small quantities, so we'll be eating Christmas dinner for like a week, and if there's one more person to help lighten that load, <laughs> you're more than welcome. And I know this is kind of heavy to come like at you with, but I do want to say that you have a place in my home should you want it. Because isn't this what this time of year is for? To open your doors and welcome in the less fortunate and feed them and keep them warm and have a good time together. To be grateful for what the year has given you and look forward and see all this possibility ahead of you because you never know what next year is going to be like. And isn't that exciting? I used to dread like getting older, getting more mature, going farther in life and realizing I'm not quite where I want to be. It's kind of silly now that I'm older. Because every person lives life at their own tempo, and it's silly to compare. Uh, either way, I'm getting derailed. All I want to say is that you're welcome at my Christmas table, darling. <laughs> oh yes, um, I'll be making cookies regardless for uh, Santa, um, but I'm sure I can, I can put some aside for you. <laughs> well, what do you say, neighbor?